uh, John told me uh, that Jerry White was going to get Rockman of the Year, I was actually quite surprised that someone of his calibre hadn't already got it. Basically, a nice person, never has a bad word to say about anybody, works quietly in the background, doesn't look for praise or recognition, and just gets on with the job. So, and, he, and it does a very good job, and because he's got such good integrity, and as, as a human being and as a person, he's able to deliver on all those things. You know, there's a great sincerity and warmth about Jerry that when he enters a room, you know, you sort of gravitate towards him. And also, of course, then is the hallmark of his connection uh, with the union. Um, irrespective of the generation the uh, union member would be, and we have union members obviously of all generations, uh, he could find common ground and was comfortable with them and had that engaging uh, disposition. Hugh Boyle, I knew you as a student in Black Rock, a student I admired greatly, and uh, then I followed your career afterwards in the Bank of Ireland. Um, as a matter of fact, I went into the Bank of Ireland College Green once and I had some problem with a check, and I said, I want to see Jerry White, and immediately a lady came along and solved everything. <laughs> so. Your name was good, certainly, in the bank. Nile. I heard you were on the Finance Committee of the Past People's Union. And now I congratulate you on the President's Award. Uh, I'm delighted that you are being recognised, that your work has been recognised, the work that you have done in favour of Black Rock College. And I wish you a happy retirement, as I am now in retirement in Brazil. Today, a group the Will of Wheelers are here with us and we're enjoying the day here despite the rain but they're enjoying themselves and I hope to bring back good news from Brazil. Again, best wishes and congratulations. He was president uh, of the union for their centenary and I was coach of the SCT. So he said to me that I was obliged to deliver the Senior Cup because for his presidency and being the centenary of the um, Union that we should have the Senior Cup. And fortunately, the boys obliged, despite me. It, it meant so much and it was something special between us. I was coach of the senior team and, and he was president of the Union and, uh, and I, I could see how much it meant to him, and not to him personally. I think that's a, a, a distinction because to the office he was holding at the time, and he's a great respecter of office in that sense, uh, that he was president of the union and he thought it would be great for the union to have it in the centenary year. And it was just his happiness at its delivery, uh, I think, meant so much to him. Hi Jerry, congratulations. Uh, no surprise that you received the President's Prize. You represent, after all, the college ethos be be better than most people I know. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Anne as well. As we know, behind every great man, there is an amazed woman, as I say, an amazing woman, as in this case. Have a great evening, and I look forward to seeing you in May. Good evening, Jerry. Christy McDade from Willow Wheelers here. We're on a visit to Brazil. We're in a favela outside the fringes of Sao Paulo, the parish of Father Brandon Foley, a parish called or a favela called Perus. And as a former recipient of the President's Award, I'd just like to congratulate you on receiving the award, which was well deserved. 
I hope you have a wonderful night of celebration in receiving the award and thank you for your many years of support for the club in supporting projects in the third world. Have a great evening. I'm delighted for him because in all my dealings with him and, and with the knowledge of what he's done within the union as well as within the school, he certainly uh, deserves it and uh, I'm delighted that uh, he's been honoured with the award. Absolutely deserving of the award because he represents some of the best that we have as past pupils in terms of his contribution to the school, his contribution to the union. I know he's also in his professional career as a banker, he also contributed uh, in, in a good way in terms of supporting the school when, time, when the call was needed at a particular time. Commitment, dedication, character, integrity, sense of humour, gratitude you know, um, for what he has, humility. Um, he's never pushed himself forward and you find that those who don't push themselves forward end up at the front because people pull them forward and um, very deserving of this award.